If you're a new user to QuickBooks, the first time you create a company file, the first time as a user you log into a company file, you're going to have this bar on the left side here. For the old school QuickBooks users, this bar on the left side is not what we're used to. I always, it's almost like a tick for me, I, whenever I log into a user's file, if they have this blue bar on the side, I immediately get rid of it. It's almost like I can't function with it there. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, so this bar is helpful. It has a lot of information, right? I can click on accountant, see my accountant center. That's because I have the accountant's edition loaded of enterprise right now. Um, I have my home screen, right, which we're used to seeing. I can go to my company where I can edit my company information. I have the income tracker, calendar, bill tracker, right? And I can scroll down and see all these different things that I have available as shortcuts. They're kind of quick keys, okay? I also have view balances. So if I have access to any balances, I would be able to see them there. I can customize view balances, right? And add that, like I can add a bank account or I can add a fixed asset account, payable account if I wanted to, so that I would see that on my list here. I have my favorite reports, okay, that I can add in here. So I have quick ways to access those. And then I also have my open windows list, which is essentially, right, I have my home screen open. Let me open my enter bills screen. And it helps me so that I can toggle between these different screens. Okay. Then down below, it has a little bit of in product advertising, right, turn on payroll, accept credit cards, etc. We also have the search button up top here as well. So we have the ability to collapse this pane, right? Make it smaller so that it's not so intrusive. And then again, if I click on view balances, I would be able to see that here. Okay. So again, we have the ability to collapse it, but we don't have really the ability to minimize it. So a lot of times people who are old school QuickBooks users, uh, when they added this side bar here, uh, they would call us and say, I don't know how to get rid of this. So if you want to get rid of it and go back to the way that QuickBooks used to look, okay, we can come up to uh, view, right? And you can say hide icon bar completely, or you can say top icon bar. That's what most people are used to, right? And there's some navigation videos in the future to talk about customizing your icon bar, but I can put it on my top icon bar here. Then I can go into view again and have my open windows list. Okay. So, I get the same data here, right? I have my account balances on the side. I have my search. I have my quick shortcuts, right? Through my icons here. And then I have my open windows list. The reason that I like this one is literally just because I can do this, right? I can expand it and minimize it. And I like to be able to see toggle easily between my open windows, but I wanna have more space here. Okay. The other thing, again, we talk about customizing the icon bar, but since we're talking about it right now, I'm just going to mention that you can, if you don't like this dark color, some people do really like it. It's soft on the eyes. They've changed it so it's softer, right, with the dark blues and the grays instead of the black and white. <clears throat> so if you want to go back to the colored icons also, you go to Edit and Preferences. We go to our desktop view, and then we check that little box that says Switch to Colored Icons and then it goes back to those light icons that you're used to seeing before. Again, this is something that I do in every company file when I log in. My customers tend to like this view a lot better, but everything is up to your individual preference. You as a user get to decide what you want it to look like. But definitely check out our videos in the future around navigation inside of QuickBooks and customizing your icon bar.